Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I have a Game Boy Advance that I'm looking to fix. So this one's reporting that it has no power, at least when I got it from eBay. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's wrong with this. So it's pretty obvious that this looks like it may be the issue. I don't know yet, but we're gonna go ahead and clean this. It looks like there's a lot of battery residue. It might be enough to get this working. So let's go ahead and open it up and do that real quick. So it looks like there's quite a bit of damage on the bottom side. There's quite a bit of corrosion on the bottom. So let me go ahead and show that. So you can see here on the potentiometer that there's quite a bit of residue that's kind of on here. We're going to have to go ahead and clean that. But even then, I don't know if it's going to fix it. This wheel is really hard to turn. I'm actually using quite a bit of force just to turn it. And then the other issue is this jack right here uh, for the audio, I, I believe. So this headphone, um, it looks pretty corroded as well. If we move over to the power switch, we can see that there's also quite a bit of corrosion. So here you can actually get a pretty good look at how much residue is on the, on the terminals. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the screws here from the motherboard, that way I can free it up. I suspect that there's a little bit of residue on the other side, seeing as how uh, dirty these contacts are. So let's go ahead and, and remove those screws, that way we can free up the motherboard. This is really stuck on there. Okay, that's pretty bad. So that's starting to like need to get cleaned out. So we'll go ahead and do that. So those terminals right there as well, they're pretty dirty. A lot of that starting to like, let me go ahead and remove this. A lot of this is actually pretty stuck. Look at how dirty that is. Let's see if we see anything else. So this residue on here as well. All right, so I got my multimeter out. We're gonna go ahead and test the off position and the on and see if we're even getting power there. So in the off position, this one here in C, we're not even getting anything there. And let's test the on position. This should be C and two. So this is the number two here, this pin. We're not getting anything there. So let's just test that we're getting continuity. So yeah, that's working. So this is not working to begin with. Let's go ahead and clean this out and see if we can get that working again. In case you guys are wondering how I test the switches, I normally just pull up the schematics from console5.com. And here you can see that from the battery, just from the direct power source, we can go in here. And this is the switch that I suspect is obviously damaged because of all the corrosion that's uh, pretty apparent there. You can see here that in the off position, you can see that pin one and C here, um, this, one pin is going to ground, so it's not gonna give it any power. And the one that we need is the one on pin two and this C pin right here. So when we slide it over, it'll pretty much connect from this C pin over to two and then supply power into the rest of the components. So that's how I determined that. And you can pull that up online on console5.com in case you guys are wondering. All right, so now let's go back and give it a little bit of alcohol and see if that's enough to clean it out. Uh, it might not, but let's go ahead and give it a shot anyway. So here I'm using 99% IPA. All right, let's go ahead and test it in the off position, see if we get anything. All right, we're not getting anything here. What about in the on? We're not getting anything on the on position either. So I went ahead and got this all cleaned up off camera. Um, but still, I'm not getting anything. So just to kind of show you, cause I did clean it a few times. Uh, it was pretty heavily corroded. so. Uh, let me put it in the off position. So even the off position doesn't work. So here we go. And I'm not getting anything here. And if I put it in the on position, I'm not getting anything there either. And just to show you that it's working, I'm gonna touch the leads. There we go. Now the common works, these two are working, but the on position doesn't work. So I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is reflow this and see if that helps it. And if it doesn't, then I'm probably gonna have to wait, honestly. I'll go grab another board to see if uh, we can fix that one. I think it has the same issue, but let's go ahead and try to fix this one real quick by reflowing it, because I'm gonna have to wait for a part to come in. I don't have a spare for this one. So let's go ahead and just do that real quick and see if it fixes it.
right, let's go ahead and test it out one more time. And still nothing on the off position. So this one doesn't seem to work. All right, let's try the on position at least and see if that works. Nothing. So I suspect this power switch is just too corroded. It probably just doesn't work. Uh, I do have to order the replacement part, but unfortunately I'm not able to get this fixed until I get that. And then once I get it in, I'll go ahead and replace this. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and move over to another board that's also having some issues and see if we can go ahead and fix that. It also seems to be the power switch issue. So let's go ahead and see if we can fix that one real quick. So here's the other one that we have. This is also stating that it has no power. And this one looks like it's in way better condition. I think we can go ahead and fix this one real quick to show you uh, kind of how that would would have worked. So here um, you can see everything is pretty clean, but however, this one's still not working. And if I set it to continuity, so here we go. I have it in the off position. And if I connect these two leads here, I don't get anything. So these are working, but this one's not working in the off position. We turn it on. Let's go ahead and test. And we're still not getting anything here. Uh, so this tells me that the switch is probably also not working on this one. So we're gonna do the same step. We're just gonna put a little bit of IPA and see if we can clean that out. All right, let's go ahead and test it out and see if we fix the switch. So we're in the off position. Okay, that one seems to be working now. Now let's try the on position, see if that works. Okay, that one seems to be working now. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of power and see if that works. So let's go ahead and connect it real quick. All right. Now, will this turn on? Nothing, we got no power. I said it's a direct current on the voltage, so let's go ahead and see what we get. So we're getting, we are getting three volts. Okay, let's see if we get it over here. And we're not getting the power on this side. Nope, you can see there we're only getting 2.5 millivolts. Let me go ahead and change this lead real quick. So I'm gonna change it to this little hook here, that way we can go ahead and test. This is actually connected to my multimeter. That way it can free up my hand and I can go ahead and probe around the, the motherboard. So we're gonna connect this to the negative terminal. And then now here we look around and I put the probe on red. We should be getting three volts or around there. And we're getting 3.14. Test this is the F1 fuse. All right, we're getting 3.14 volts. This one's giving 9.3 millivolts. That doesn't look right. Number two should have around the same millivolts. If that truly is the case. And it is, so we're getting 9.0, 8.7. So that's way below the three, three volts that we need here. And so I'm guessing it's gonna supply it a common, so yeah. All right, so I think this fuse might be bad. One thing I can probably do just to test it out real quick is pass voltage from this one, this red lead over into that second uh, pin here and see if that's enough to just turn it on. All right, so we're gonna supply power directly to the second pin here. So let's go ahead and test it out. Oh, you can hear it right there. So that does power on. So to me, that tells me that this fuse is not working properly. Unfortunately, I also don't have an additional fuse laying around, so I'm probably gonna have to order that as well, but at least we were able to diagnose and find out the issues on both of them. So even though I wasn't able to fix any of the Game Boys today, hopefully this video is still helpful for anyone that's having issues um, trying to diagnose the, the problem with their Game Boys not powering on. So we did see a couple of different things. So we checked the voltage from the fuse. We also checked it on the switch. I tried to help diagnose and to determine to see if this switch is actually bad by uh, showing you how to test it with the multimeter. I also helped out a little bit on the schematic, just kind of reading the entry points to see 
uh, where to put our leads when we're testing with a multimeter for continuity. And hopefully these little things help for anyone out there that is a beginner or just trying to get this cleaned out. But if you don't have the tools, one of the easiest things that you can do, and I always suggest it, is just to put a little bit of IPA onto these switches and then just give it a, a good little clean here. That tends to fix majority of the problems for the most part. And in the case that you're cleaning out these um, terminal contacts, then you can go ahead and use a little bit of uh, white vinegar to just kind of clean that off. And if you don't have that on hand, then you can use uh, some alcohol. Anything above 91% should should work and just kind of give it a good scrub and clean. That way we make sure that we're getting the proper uh, contact from the batteries. So I do plan to release a future video once I get the components and we'll go ahead and circle back and see if we can go ahead and fix this. I want to thank you all for watching. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe as it helps support this channel. And if you like today's content, even if it helped out a little bit, please make sure to hit that like button. I'll catch you all next time.